time now for Pets on Set. Nancy Orr with the Canyon County Animal Shelter is joining us with, is it Gobi? Gobi. Okay, Gobi. tell us about I like Gobi. that name. That's, yeah. that's a pretty cute name for <laughs> he a dog. Had, he came <laughs> in with a little friend named Koi. Um, he's about five years old, came in as a stray, so we don't have a whole lot of history on him. Chihuahua, obviously. He's a chihuahua, right. and I guess they would call him Applehead Chihuahua because he's got that big round head. We were just talking about his little brow right yeah. there. See, he kind of looks Short like nose. Megamind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, he's really nervous. He's kind of a really quiet little dog. He perks up when he goes outside. He appears to be house trained. He goes outside, does all of his business outside, and comes right back in. Um, he's not going to require a whole lot of exercise, being a small breed that's five years old. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's still trying to get a personality. He's kind of overwhelmed there at the shelter, but but he's working on that. <laughs> he rides well in the car, and he just kind of wants to hang out with, with his person. Um, kind of overwhelmed by everything, though. He'd, yeah. be, he'd be good for a nice, quiet household, someone that wants to take quick little walks with him and spend the rest of the day with him. So do small dogs go pretty fast? Small dogs do seem to go pretty fast. We do have a lot of chihuahuas right okay. now. Yeah. Um, they just seem, seem to be coming in the door faster than they're going out. Are they coming um, as strays? Or I know strays. a lot of California strays, Yeah, we shelters. get a lot of strays, and we also do get a lot of owner surrenders. Okay. Um, people don't realize they are small, but they do require quite a bit of care, too. Is there a higher price for the smaller dogs, or is that just for the puppies that have a smaller um, Our puppies price? and some of our smaller dogs, of course, our chihuahuas aren't because they're, 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 we have so many. Yeah. We want to find homes yeah. for all of them. Um, of course, our purebred poodles. But we do have a sale going on through the end of October. Empty the shelter, too. So all of our small breeds are only $39. Oh, awesome. Our uh, um, larger breeds, medium to larger breeds, are only 19 They're all spayed, neutered, current on their vaccines. And that's going on right now already. Until the end of the month. Okay. Yep, we're trying to win that $100,000 challenge. We're trying to get as many animals and homes that we can. Um, our adult cats are $5, our kittens are $15, we still have free Cat Fridays, and we still have Seniors for Seniors program. And tell us, for people who don't know about the Rachel Ray challenge that's going on, what is it exactly? Um, it's put on by Rachel Ray and the ASPCA, it's a $100,000 challenge. Right now there's only 47 um, shelters across the United States still in it, we're the only one in Idaho. Um, we've already won $5,000, nice. $5,000 grant for getting the most adoptions than we did last year in the month of August. We haven't got our September numbers yet, um, but we did just about as many adoptions in September than we did August. Okay. Um, so so it's just whoever gets the most adoptions. More than we did the previous year okay. in the same three months. So, you know, we're trying to win money so we can do more public services, spay and neuters, um, get more stuff for our dogs and our cats. Um, and to keep our shelter going because we are a nonprofit shelter now, so we, we rely on d donations and adoption fees. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to find homes for, the biggest thing is find homes for more animals and, and make people realize they need to come to the shelter, look for their lost pet, or adopt a new pet. Yeah, mm -hmm. And the more, the more people that adopt pets, of course, helping towards that goal of keeping the shelter open. Definitely. Uh, I notice he's, he's shedding just a little bit, so may, uh, Gobi may just need a little bit of brushing here and there. A little bit of brushing you, and... and, and, and coming into the shelter in here, he's really nervous, so they seem to <laughs> shut out a lot of that coat. He definitely could use a few groceries, too. Yeah. He's a little on the thin side. Yeah, so definitely a cute guy here, Gobi. He's gonna, he, I have a feeling he's gonna be one of those ones that goes fast, because yep. he is a smaller dog, so mm -hmm. make sure you... Cute face. Yeah, call the Canyon <laughs> County Animal Shelter. Their number's right there on the screen, or stop on by. They're open seven days a week. Uh, say that you saw Gobi on Good Morning Idaho, and you wanna know if he's still available. If he's not available, don't turn around and go home though. Find some other animal. Yeah, please Take them do. Home with you as we well. have lots. So, yeah. Thanks so much.